He's all about stealth. It's all about sneaking up when he's praying and ambushing him. Having said that, but like I said, this makes him really... I might bring him around here, Dave. Me getting in the water makes him really, really angry. Really angry. So I do it because once I've got him set up, it's all Dave's problem. Give <laughs> yourself up for the strike. Come on, Charlie. Come on, big fella. How's that? Good boy. Come on. Oh. That's the fingers. <laughs> Tell you what, Joe, I might have to change the backs after that. <laughs> All right, so what you can see there is he strikes from the tip of his nose to just behind his back legs in the blink of an eye. Now, if this was dirty, murky water where you'd naturally find a crocodile living, you'd have no idea who's was there and you'd never ever avoid that attack. Now, I'm only a couple of metres away from him. He's not going to make any further attempt to come and try and chase me down on the land. But let's see what happens when Stu gets back in the water. In the water? Again. Go on. You need to buy it. Thankfully, avoiding crocs is easy. All you've got to do is the exact opposite of what I'm doing. So stay out of the water and back from the edge. Here on this side, he can strike out and hit this fence in one go. So if I seem a little bit nervous, it's because I am. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're a bad boy. Hear that bang as his jaws come together there. In those jaws, he has well over 3,000 pounds per square inch pressure. So that's stronger than any other animal, not by a bit, by a lot. So if he was to grab me mid-body, he could crush me down to a couple of centimetres thick and I'd ooze out either in my two face. Now that sounds horrible, but it's very quick, very effective while I catch him and kill him in prey. Dave, can you just move him up your way? Sure, Dave. Thanks, mate. Actually, 